All right, what's up, what's up? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael. You knew this was coming up right away. So, Vikings fans, you really about to get J.J. McCarthy. And not only, it's one thing if you, like, stay at 11 and J.J. falls to you and you take, take him. You're talking about trading up to possibly get him. Are you dumb or are you stupid? Let me go look up J.J. McCarthy's stats to prove to everybody that he's not a good quarterback. And I know I was one of the idiots that wanted McCarthy, but that's because I was under it was under the assumption that the Bears would keep Justin Fields. So I want everybody to pay attention to my screen real quick. So... And people will obviously say that he won the national championship. Brother, the guy had a good team around him. Let's go. If you go look at JJ McCarthy stats, they're they're not really they don't wow you. Let's go to recent games. Only had one 300 yard passing game. And and people want to bring up all the quarterback rating. Dude, dude was throwing down check downs the entire game. You put any quarterback, any quarterback on that Michigan team, and they'll do the exact same thing as J.J. McCarthy did. And somehow Vikings, uh, I'm sorry, Viking fans want are going to think that this is going to be a perfect situation for J.J. McCarthy to go into. And let me tell you something. As much good as a situation as J.J. is going to go in, it's not going to matter because without, because you guys don't have Jim Harbaugh. You guys have, uh, you guys li- have the worst version of Mike Zimmer. Oh, Kevin O'Connell. Yeah, you guys have Kevin O'Connell. But he's not going to do anything with J.J. because you want to know Jim Harbaugh is... Even if Jim Harbaugh has had like an early time in the NFL, he is way better than Kevin O'Connell ever was. And the the Vikings defense is only the strongest part, which your general manager is kind of reminding me of Ryan Pace. Going to trade up to get J.J. McCarthy instead of getting Michael Penix Instead of getting Bo Nix, you're going to settle for J.J. McCarthy. Listen, it's one thing to be concerned about Caleb Williams. It's one thing to be concerned about Jaden Daniels. It's one thing to be most concerningly with Drake May. But let me have y'all, and let me ask you Vikings fans this. Did you see the combine where J.J. McCarthy was overthrowing receivers? That's bad. It, it'd be one thing if there was NFL defenses, but you're but there's no pressure. You can have the good performances. But this dude, J.J., was overthrowing receivers on cross routes and deep routes. He's not that good. And let me tell you something. I want you guys to do this because you're like, let me tell you something. You're going to get J.J. McCarthy, which is under the assumption that you will. You guys are going to be fourth in the division. You're going to get swept by the Bears. You're going to get swept by the Packers. You're going to get swept swept by the Lions. And guess what? This is going – we talk about how the Bears may be set, setting back in franchise, bro. You you guys actually may be set back for 15 years because of this move. But those are my thoughts uh, let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about this honestly stupid situation that the Vikings are in. I, I really hope they do this. JG's not good. If people bring up the national championship game, like they're going to act like Jim Harbaugh didn't have a difference. But that's my thoughts on JJ McCarthy. I think he's the worst quarterback in this draft class. And I think the Viking fans are idiots for wanting JJ McCarthy over Bull Knicks or and Michael Penix, who are way better prospects than J than JJ like you put any quarterback on that uh 
Michigan team, and they would have done this the exact same thing. Like, J.J. is not a starting level quarterback. So some of my thoughts, as always.